So today, we're going to show you how to use our fabulous oven blitzer. So this is to be used for that big clean that you do once every six months or once every year. Usually, and unfortunately, people often use those terrible chemical cleaning products that you can buy for your oven cleaning. The ones where you have to use rubber gloves, stuff the racks in plastic bags, leave them overnight, preferably do it outside because of the fumes, and keep your kids and your pets out of the way. No such thing with the oven blitzer. It's made from 100% natural edible ingredients. It's just been fermented full of naturally produced enzymes. So perfectly safe to have your kids or your pets around. You might see a stunt dog come in a bit later. Anyway, you need three things for this step one. This is a two-stage process. The first step you do at night, the second step in the morning when it's had time to do its job. So you need your oven blitzer, some newspaper, and some kitchen towel. The cheaper, the better. The thinner, the better. Okay, so what we do, first of all, is lay out some newspaper on the floor, which I've already done, and then just remove all of your racks from the oven and just lay your racks out onto the newspaper. Next thing, grab your oven blitzer and then spray the inside of the oven, not forgetting the inside of the door, the glass door. So you want to get in all those nooks and crannies and just give it a really, really good spray. So you're getting all those surfaces covered in the oven blitzer. And once you've done that, grab your paper towel and you're simply going to take off a few sheets and put them onto all of the surfaces inside the oven. The reason you're doing this is because you want the product to be in constant contact with the surfaces overnight. So it's soaking it up a little bit, so what we want to do, obviously, is give it a good spray so it's well sodden, keeping all those wonderful naturally produced enzymes in contact with the surfaces, giving them a chance to break down all the oil, the grease, grime and the dirt. So I'm just going to repeat this on the floor of the oven and the walls in the back. So see you in a minute. Okay, so you'll see from the oven that I've covered it in kitchen paper, the backs, the sides and the base, and I've given it all a good spray, so it's soaked now. Next thing to do is move out onto the racks, which are already on the kitchen floor, and repeat exactly the same process. So I've already done two, so I'm just going to do the last one. So no different to what we did with the oven. Give it a really good spray and just lift it up and spray it. If the racks are particularly dirty, you just put the kitchen towel on your hand and use that to pick it up with. Grab some of the kitchen towel, put it on the rack, like so. Make sure when you're covering all, because it's probably the racks that are pretty grimy. And then again, give it a good soak. So no difference to what you did in the oven, you're just giving them a really good soak, covering the kitchen towel and giving it another good soak so you're keeping that product in constant contact with everything. So that's it, we've done that and we've done the racks, so all we need to do is put everything back inside. No need to put it actually in proper, just put it in on the diagonal like that. If you try to put them in proper, you'll probably dislodge some of the paper towel like so. If you have dislodged any at the back like I have there, just give it a quick spray, stick another one in, soak it and that's it. And that's step one complete. What we're going to do is just close the oven, leave it overnight to let the enzymes in our wonderful oven blitzer go to work. And we'll be back in the morning to take everything off and to clean it up. 
Okay, so step two for the oven blitzer. So you would have left the oven and the shelves overnight. Next morning, grab your oven blitzer. And remember, you've used half of the bottle for the first stage, so you'll have half a bottle left. Just top that up with warm water, not hot, just warm water from the tap. So you've got a full bottle there to help you clean with now. The other things you'll need for this stage is some soap pads, just some generic soap pads. Plastic bag to put your dirty cloths and kitchen towel in and a bowl of warm water to rinse out the soap pad. And you might need to change that a couple of times to keep it clean. So, all we're going to do is, first of all, take the racks out and put them on the floor. Out of your way. Like so. And then we're going to start with the oven cleaning. So grab in the kitchen towel, just take it towards you, trying to take up as much grease and grime as possible. Like so. And then just put that out of the way in a bag. And then we'll do the same for all of the inside. Again, when you take off the kitchen towel, try and just wipe and bring as much of the grease and grime with you as you can. And then just repeat that for the inside of the oven and the racks. And then I'll show you the next stage. So we've removed all of the kitchen towel from the inside of the oven and off the racks. Uh, we've got our soap pad, a bowl of water and some kitchen towel and also some old rags here. So the next bit is to get them really nice and clean. So grab your diluted oven blitzer. Remember we topped up the half bottle with warm water. And then just using a soap thread spray and then start to wipe the grease and the grime away and it will come off very very easily. Repeat that on every surface in the oven. Now you're probably not going to be able to do this with just one soap pad so you need probably three or four on hand and each time it gets really dirty rinse it out in the bowl of water and then start again and when it's of no use throw it away and move on to the next soap pad. So that's all there is to it and you do exactly the same with the racks obviously. Spray and then wipe them down with the soap pad getting all the grease and grime off. You might need to do both sides and then once that's done that's it. You can wipe it all dry with an, a rag so you have a nice shiny clean oven. All the paper the kitchen paper, the newspaper, the used soap pads and any really disgusting rags can go in a plastic bag and into your normal rubbish. Something you can't do with those awful chemical cleaners. So again, another positive. So that's it. Oven blitzer, two-step process, very straightforward. Blitz on.